What is up you guys? Today I have a photo shoot that I'm going on. It is 50 minutes away. So I actually have to leave ASAP Rocky because if I don't leave now, I'm gonna be late. And apparently there's a snowstorm. So we might have a snowstorm, we might not have a snowstorm because it is Ohio. And we all know how Ohio weather is. It is so up in the air all the time. Who knows? But if it does snow and there's a lot of snow, I am gonna have to add an extra 10 minutes to my drive. But with all that said, I'll see you guys at the shoot. I don't know. I'm, I'm changing my F stop apparently. Right. That's not what's That's up. That's as though. cross as I can get. Uh, there we go. That's it. So that was fun, right? We had a good time. We had a good time. But now we're done because like it's super loud in there. But I think we all got some pretty fun shots. Yeah. So <laughs> I was the best model today. Ah, that's debatable, but you know, we'll we'll say yes. <laughs> All right, now it's two days later. Two days later since the shoot. Yeah, I was gonna finish the video the same day, but then I kinda didn't, cause there was a lot of snow. There was a snowstorm on the way back. It was fine, but it was just draining, cause it was like 6.30 when I got back, and it was dark, and all that kind of stuff. But overall, the shoot went really well. I got to really connect with some cool people. Both models are awesome. The other photographer is awesome as well. Um, their Instagram handles will be in the description of this video and I'll probably put them somewhere in this uh, screen somewhere. Check them out. They are all very talented people, but I gotta work with them. So I'm gonna go over some tips and pointers that I learned through this photo shoot. And it'll be kind of quick, just some quick advice, I guess. Number one, know your surroundings. We were in a very crowded environment. We were not in a, an environment that usually people would be taking pictures. And because we were in the arcade, and in between each shot, we kind of had to let people walk through the, the shot, or I had to move. You know, just having people staring at you, you know, because they're not really sure what's going on. It's good just to let people know, like, what you're doing and whatnot. But it, it went really well. It was just like a different environment for me. And I appreciate it. It was, it was different. It made me kind of get the shot no matter what with a bunch of people around and just maybe kind of just focus on the moment I wanted to capture and be patient with your environment too. Every environment is not going to be perfect but you can still get awesome shots no matter where you are. I'm a firm believer in that. I even had a photo shoot in a bathroom and I photographed some of the best images I think I've ever taken as of now. As long as you have a concept going into it, you can make any environment work for you. So I think that's the beauty of art, like photography and film. You can make an environment match your vision or you can craft a vision around your environment and just come up with something crazy. Another pro tip, because you know, I'm such a pro, you need to always have a good light setup for whatever your environment will throw at you. Always come to a photo shoot prepared. So I brought LED lights and that made the shoot even better. It helped to light up faces. When you really needed to light up some faces, you know, lighting is so important, so always bring extra lights if you have them. Because even though we were in an arcade, it was still challenging sometimes to get faces well lit up. 
So here's one LED light that I brought. It has a pink filter on it. It has a bunch of different filters I, I could have put on it as well, but it just helped capture good detail on the model's faces. And we didn't always need to use it, but when it, we decided to, I think that we got better shots. Just always bring some lights. Um, even like a light reflector, that can always help too. Whether you do photo or video work, I think you should always have extra lights at hand. This guy really helps. So always be prepared for your environment. Another important tip is just have fun taking pictures, you know? Like you have a certain amount of time to execute your vision and then you're done. And try not to take anything too, too seriously. Even when like you don't get like maybe your favorite shot, you don't even get a good shot for the day, you might get some okay ones. At least you can still have enjoyed the shoot and enjoyed learning something. But I'm very happy because I can always find at least one shot that I really cherish for that day. Photography and filmmaking, they both have large learning curves. And then when you do get a really awesome photograph or piece of footage, it is so rewarding because you not just had a fun time on the shoot, but you are rewarded for having a good time by, you know, hours later when you're editing, finding this amazing creation. So yeah, have a good time on the shoot. Regardless if you think you're making great photographs or you're taking just okay photographs, just hang in there and get the shoot done because you probably got something good. So I guess another crucial element to know going into any photo shoot would be to communicate with the model or the other creators around you and make sure you're on the same page. And especially for like when it's a crowded area and it's super loud and it's just a very intense, different environment than you're used to. Like me, for, for myself, it was just so loud. Communicating with the model is kind of difficult sometimes. So I would have to make eye contact. I would kind of have to like, you know, take my camera down and look at the model right in the eyes and kind of explain to her what I wanted her to do, like with her hands, just her, you know, her posture and everything. I had to visualize that for her because it was kind of hard for both of us to like yell over the crowd of people just talking around us. And the, and the video games playing in the background was a whole different element. But we got the shots that we wanted it just took a little more time and I also had rapid fire on just in case I would catch anything you know the model was gonna just try out cuz it was just so fast we had to get as many shots in as we could and so I could just worry later about editing a bunch of files so yes always make sure that you can communicate with the model somehow even before you start shooting maybe even communicate with the model or the other creators and have like a list of shots you kind of want to try out now of course you can't always predict what the environment's gonna be like. So you kind of just have to roll with the punches. So yes, always communicate with the other creators to get the shots that you want. Honestly, the end of 2018 and the beginning of this year, I've had some really enjoyable shoots and I want to keep on track with that. I've always had fun shoots, you know, but I think I am learning more and I'm more conscious of the shots I'm taking. So I'm happy to see progress. This shoot though by far was like really fun. This location for me was also just kind of exciting because it was such a challenge for me at first, but it was exciting for that reason because it was something for me to overcome. So overall, I had a really good experience with really fun people. So those are my tips. I hope they help. I know they're kind of like loose tips, but they're important ones. So thank you guys for always watching my videos. Again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see from me in the future. If you have any other tips or if there are any photo challenges you want me to try, I'm sure I could try them out. Maybe get some other people to kind of, you know, shoot with me and we could do like a photo challenge or something. But if there are any other environments you would like me to try out, to take some pictures, uh, please leave a comment with your recommendation. You know, I can give it a shot. I'm really excited to see where else I go this year with photography. I really want to try some new environments to really challenge myself to become a better photographer. If you'd like to see some studio work, I can also do that because I have like a makeshift studio I need to actually finish putting together. So I have like a whole flash set up and I have a backdrop, you know, with constant lights. I got all my stuff. So thank you guys for watching once again. I really appreciate it. All right, I'll see you guys next time.